Hi everyone, my name is Jay Kojo Dasibre and I'm very delighted to have the Australian High Commissioner to Ghana in the person of His Excellency Gregory Andrews. And I was saying, definitely, he is a Kwame. <laughs> That's right. Actually, I'm Kwame Ketwa because there's another Kwame here at the High Commission and he's Kwame Pinyin. See that? Kwame Pinyin and a Kwame Ketwa. <laughs> Good to have you, sir. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk about, um, you know, the Australian High Commission, you know, partnering with uh, Environment 360 mm -hmm. with this circular innovation hub. Someone would say, we are men. Why women? Yeah, so look, Australia is really committed to achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. And to, to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals, we need to include women. Because when you exclude women, you exclude half the population, right? Yeah. So across the world, historically, women are more likely to be excluded or to be working in lower paying jobs and lower paying positions. So this project, one of the many reasons that the Australian High Commission is really pleased to be investing in this project, is we're supporting the ladies who are waste pickers, who earn less than 60 peswa for a kilo of plastic, which takes a long time to pick up a whole kilogram of plastic. We're supporting them to add more value and earn more money by recycling those plastics into things that they can sell, like the handles for bicycles or plastic cups, combs, buttons, or different things that Ghanaians need. And so by including women and supporting the women, we're actually promoting gender equality, but also helping achieve the sustainable development goals. Mm -hmm. I was just um, going through the whole brochure and I got to find out that um, this particular hub is uh, being funded by the Australian Direct Aid Program, yes. if I got that correct. Yeah. Now, um, is the aid program seeking to sponsor anything just to curb um, unemployment in Ghana? Because that is one of the major factors that um, uh, we are really, really facing in this country. So is the aid program, apart from this, is the aid program seeking to sponsor anything that would help any um, curb youth unemployment? Yeah, it certainly is. And so the Australian aid program here in Ghana uh, is for example up in um, Sunyani uh, is investing in a skills training centre and a youth diversion centre for young people to help them learn new skills uh, that they can then use mm. to, to get a job. Mm. So yeah, actually I'm very much aware uh, and I know the government of Ghana is very focused on this issue of youth unemployment and Australia has a humble aid program here. We're a long way from our own region in this part of the world, mm. but we make we take great care to make sure that our direct aid program focuses on things that are important for Ghana, for the government of Ghana and for the people of Ghana. And, and so gender equality, uh, re waste management and sanitation, but also youth diversion are really important themes. Okay, okay. Um, a total amount of uh, 127,573 Ghana cities um, as far as money has been paid to waste collectors since 2019 till date. Now, the, of course, this is money going out to waste collectors and uh, it's money going into their pockets. But why not try as much as possible to have this monies or these monies put into some sort of a power bank to reinvest it into these collectors because if you if you give me 50 pesos right now and you ask me what did that use it for I might not use it for something that at the end of the day you would be proud that I use this money for something but then probably you know waste it at the end of the day so why not it being a power bank that could re be reinvested into all these collectors instead of them just wasting money? Well, what we're doing is we're investing in the collectors themselves. But I can tell you, the ladies aren't wasting the money. Actually, there's some of us behind us yeah. there now. Um, but th those ladies work really hard to earn very little money and they use that money to support their families. But through this project, what we're doing is investing directly in the women so that they can earn more money because if they sell the plastic bottles, they might get 50 or 60 peswa. But if they sell products that they make with the recycled plastic, 
they're adding to the value chain, they're creating a circular economy, and they're making more money. So they're creating more wealth to support themselves and their families. Okay, all right, rightly said. Stationary points yielded more than mobile collection, and why is that the case? I'm not an expert on these issues, so uh, you'd have to ask the experts on mm. that. But I, I imagine that stationary points uh, are easier to find. In Australia, we know where, where certain garbage disposal and recycling centres are, so it's easier to go to them when you need to. Would we be seeing the Australian High Commission coming in together to help these people aside you know being established here in Ghana to go for further training probably in Australia and what sector are we looking at if that should take place? So Australia over the years has supported um, 700 Ghanaians over the last 10 years to study in Australia or to study with, with Australian universities delivering courses here. Uh, at, the, at the moment that program's on hold because of COVID our borders are closed in Australia at the moment, uh, but once COVID, once we get through COVID, then we'll be re-examining the opportunities in that space. And in the meantime, we're investing here through our direct aid program on a range of projects to support um, these women, for example, with plastics recycling, to support uh, girls on issues like period poverty, uh, to help children stay in school. Uh, we've also done things like building maternity maternity clinics in, re in remote and regional parts of Ghana. And I mentioned youth diversion as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so before I just run it up with uh, His Excellency Gregory Andrews, um, currently, what is the High Commission doing in partnership with the current government mm. um, what what whatsoever what 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 field are we looking mm. at and what's the collaboration and I'm very particular about the youth because I'm a young person yeah as you can see precisely yep. yeah. so if there is anything of mm. that sort yeah so we could put it across to mm. anybody out there okay. who's looking yep. forward to you know um, have this opportunity so yeah. what is happening as far as the high commission yeah. of australia mm. in ghana and the government yes currently what is happening the, the the single biggest thing that australia is doing here in ghana uh supporting ghana's economy and supporting employment opportunities and training opportunities for young people is the investment uh, in gold mining by Australian gold mining companies which have a global reputation for being the highest quality and with really good and strong environmental standards so that the water that comes out of the mine is as clean or cleaner than the water okay. upstream from the mine but also investing in the communities. So what I'm seeing is Australian mining companies employing Ghanaian citizens, employing and training young Ghanaians on how to drive huge mining trucks mm. and operate mine and repair mining machinery and build mines. And, and that, I think, is the single biggest area, that private sector investment from Australian mining companies that are reputed across the world for having such high environmental standards, but also community community investment and community relations. So how feasible is this for a layman out there to be part of this? How, how mm. feasible is it? Well, very feasible because the Australian mining companies operating in Ghana, they, they need to and want to employ local people. So the communities where they're operating, you'll find many of the people in those communities are working at the gold mine and are getting training, uh, but also the mining companies are investing and building bores and supporting local schools and health centres as well to strengthen the community. Okay. Last but not least, uh, anything that you can say in our Akan language? Anything? What do you want? Oh, <laughs> um, oh, you put me on the spot. Yeah, I like um, putting people on the spot. I think I'm probably a little bit better at Twi. A Twi, yes. Yeah, yes, but yes, I can't yes, really yes. say a lot, but maybe I could just say Aiko. Aiko. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Madasi. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Aiko Evidence. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. You're Thank you so welcome. much for enlightening us and uh, letting us know what exactly is happening. And also on to this particular project. Thank you so much for being part of it because without the funding, I'm not sure definitely we'll get here. Mm. So thank you very much. It's our pleasure. His Excellency. Yeah, good. <laughs> All right. Great.